Number 43, rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assign. Then we have letter A out of the bunch. So in this case, we have to rank in terms of increasing acidity. And then they give us these three compounds. So NaHSO3, NaHSeO3, and then NaHSO4. Okie dokie. So in this case, I'm just going to put my ranking order. They want increasing acidity, which just means that I have to start with my least acidic. So least acidic goes over here. Compound, and then my most acidic will go over here. Okay. So now, basically the hardest thing is to figure out what type of acids we're talking about here. Now this one can be kind of a little tricky because I do see now that I'm starting to see NAs, right? And that's a metal, sodium. Generally, when we talked about acids, right, they were all molecular or, you know, uh, covalent compounds. They didn't have metals in them. So all of these are classified as salts, which we will see in later down in the chapter. They're classified as salts because they're ionic. They have the sodium here. And sodium is a metal. Now, when we're talking about acidity or basicity, don't even worry about the sodium. Since it's all the same element, just we forget about it in our mind. And now we're just looking at HSO3, HSEO3, and HSO4. Now, now we have to think of, okay, what type of acid is that? Where I have a hydrogen in the front, I have an oxygen or a couple of oxygens in the back, and then I have a random element in the middle, right? We'll call that X. These are oxo acids. And I could, you know, rank oxo acids, and I put the trend that we need to know for here. As you go down a group, your acidity for oxo acids will decrease. Now, what element are you going to be looking for on the periodic table? Well, since they're, they all have hydrogen and oxygen, the only thing that differs is the element in the middle. So you're, all you'll be looking at is where the sulfur is, where the selenium is, and where the sulfur is again. Oh boy, okay. So it looks like we just have two elements. Sulfur is up top here, and then selenium is down here. Okay. So, let's see. As we go from top to bottom, our acidity will decrease. So that means that all the selenium ones are going to be less acidic than the sulfur ones. So the selenium would be your least acidic. So I'm going to put that one over here. So I have Na, and I will include the Na because that, that, that's what they told me as the compound. So NaHSeO3 as my least acidic. So this one's done. Now, I literally have the same element. It's sulfur. But now i got to figure out, well, which one is more acidic? Well, with oxo acids, the rule is the more number, and maybe I'll just put the more oxygens in your compound, the more acidic. Now, you can only say this in terms of if you're talking about the same element. So since it's just HSO3 versus HSO4, since this one has one more oxygen, it's got four oxygens versus three, this one would be more acidic, and that would be most acidic. So we have NaHSO4 here, and then we have Na right in the middle, HSO3. Then we just got to put our less than signs because we're working from least to most. So NaHSEO3 is least, or, you know, less acidic than NaHSO3, which is less acidic than NaHSO4. And that is the, the ranking system. So we got that going for us. Now we just have to explain. Well, a couple of things. I kind of already gave some of the answers, but also we can think of it in terms of electronegativity. As we drop down, our electronegativity also decreases. So as you decrease, in electronegativity, you also will decrease in acidity. Because remember, the more electronegative the element, the easier it is to give up that hydrogen. And if you're 
more willing to give up a hydrogen, you're going to be more acidic because you're going to donate that hydrogen. So we could think of it as this way. And also between this, the more hydrogen is the more acidic. This is because for those central element, the central element will also have a higher charge. So the central atom, and maybe I'll just drop this a little bit just so that we have a little bit more room. The central atom will have a bigger, so indicating the arrow up, formal charge. And greater the formal charge, the more acidic. And there you go. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and I will see you all later. Okay, bye-bye.